njenga binga elisikwa inimba. Ndibeki si ingu. Kaya shukwa inibe sita manja, be steta ulo ngulu olu na. O yini uku nishonga la matota kubasi ngena manja au. Nene spila ubombe nketamu. Sapela iso sekini si chongili. Nina matota. Beni zazu kubani matota nga panji kwa bafazi. Ingaba ile nkuleko besuwe na leichi kia zinye mbisa nge mili. O yinu nga bina vila na tizyo ni bula laba faz mwanga ntipucho imbuvan. Kani nga yete ni yeke ukubangu so mandla. Kaba na ufuka ni siva mandla. Kani sebe nselo mandla ukwa kikai. O yinu nga bina vila wano kauzo ni iva ni si chwe si kaka ube wena undi tungulu. O yinu nga bina vila wano kauzo ni iva ni kala kabu tungu ube wena ngela ukwe nkomu. O wini mandela bango mso, bazwa sa vila pina kan babulal. Lante toya ntlantolo ya isiti. Watinda bafaz. Watindi mbogoto. Ya pele la pina. Ukuzi manyana na eko kubastari kuzi kapaz sangani. Sinike enu kabiso lutandwini. Ibani nga matota. Yeman kanibia nga matota nga kukabeleleyo. Kaloku nini abameluk baba ya skuse. Ndia bongoza ngulu siba. Ubake niti kha. Kukusi kha paza. Yeah, amazing, amazing. Hey, man, Kel. Yes, Mugel. What a great way to pick up the show. Kukapama. Proudly closer. I like the vibe, I like the outfit, but we are of course speaking to her a little bit later on the show. So to make sure you stick around for interview, yeah, okay. Welcome to guys, good afternoon to you, people of Mzanti. You tune into the best entertainment show in the land. Excuse the name of the show. Taking all the way up until 5 p.m. Come on, Mr. J, but I know as a put fliki mahara way na. Oh yes, and my name Darlings is Bria Chibuda. Darling. <laughs> and as Nala said, we'll be with you from now till 5 p.m. And we promise to give you nothing but a great show, making sure that you're going to kickstart off your week on a very high note. Today is hashtag Monday Motivation. Motivation. So go onto social media, across all social media platforms, and make sure that we're trending. Why not? Make us trend yes. on the Monday. And of course, Namshanje, as you can see, it was the ear banda, so therefore we are in our best hey. winter. Yes, hey. I hope that Benisilin Dele and Nombatile and Nire de Fos Mugela because we're here with you just up until the hour of five o'clock. And of course, if you do want to interact with us during the conversation, 021-448-0448 is the number. Otherwise, on Facebook and Twitter, XA underscore live on Twitter, XA on Cape Town TV on Facebook. Otherwise, also now, if you fun bang, she's papa, ma bella, pa stage, us performele, us nike, all the juices that you want to give us. XA and on Cape Town TV dot org is where you send your clip and you give us a short bio of what it is that you do now you could find yourself right here. Ah, pam, ah, right pam. Pam. Ah, pam. And if you are doing exceptional things, Janga, there's this thing called the Ghetto Sessions. Yes. That takes place at Kailicha, yeah. right, every okay. month. And I mean, it, it's just an exciting platform for young people, for young musicians and artists to come together and celebrate this thing called artistry. And if you'd like to be part of these sessions, all you have to do is go to Siki's uh, uh, coffee cafe, shop. Yeah. Um, and if you want to find out more about it, just go to social media on their social media pages. But Janga, we have a lit show for you today. Network marketing, Ikona. story book writing, yes. illustration, yes. Yes. poetry. Yes. Yeah. It's going to be a, a lit show. It's going to be a lit <laughs> poetry event. It's better, young women. I must say, it's amazing to see Abba and Kalisha coming together, yeah. entertaining Abba and Bogusala. It's a great thing. Kalisha is one of the biggest communities in South Africa, yes. so very good to see how far they've come as a community. And also, speaking of entrepreneurs, speaking of entertainment, I'm trying to be joined by Ubomza, Usiabongamaz, but known as Ubomza, alongside with Uma Puti of Parliament Events. They're here to tell us more about their work that they do uh, within the communities and what kind of work about Wenzayo as young entrepreneurs. And of course, like you just mentioned, if we didn't mention, of course, we have network marketing in studio. They're going to be basically showing us the alternatives that if you want to go into business, but you don't feel like a degree is the way you want to go about it. You want to stay tuned for this because they may give us all the tips and of course how to go about that. I think I'm gonna love that. I'm interested in that because <laughs> I, I wanna make chele hey, I ching want ching money. Yes. Ching ching. Okay, I think it's time for us to get straight into it. But before we get straight into yeah. it, how are you guys this weekend? 
Um, it was you. better than today. It was better than this day. Like yeah, my whole right. weekend together was better than this day alone. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. We'll see how the day goes. We, I know when you were doing the most. Oh, when I'm on the weekend, I started. You were doing the most. It's snaps. You were all over my social media. Oh my God. Sissy, tell us what did you do? Yeah, so I was out at the Cape Town International Animation Festival. Out there, MCing. It was absolutely amazing. Got to learn about about animation, about the yeah. film industry, just you know the international sphere of of artistry. So it was absolutely amazing. And I feel like that's one part of film that's so underrated. People yes. don't actually understand what it's and about. Hi, Bor. So I got the secrets. So you're doing amazing. I'm sure you did a great job. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so well, much. Tommy, yes, darling. Oh, darling. darling. <laughs> when I was just sitting at home doing some school work, my life is Fishan. boring, guys. <laughs> what about Fishan? you, my love? How was your weekend? How was your weekend? What's up, Paul? Anyway, I think that is from Paul. That's from Paula. Why are we going to tell you what's trending straight after that? <laughs> <laughs>
So be brave enough to let go of those keeping you and weighing you down. Know your worth and be cautious of the company you keep. Know your worth, know your time, know your channel. And this channel you're tuned into right now is Cape Town TV. But right now, talking about all things knowing, we'll be chatting to Rihanna, Crystal and Charles talking all things story and Hi. dragons and blacksmiths. I'm so excited, guys. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you so much, Rio. Blacksmith and the dragonfly. What is it all about? So the blacksmith and the dragonfly is a story about being true to yourself and never giving up. We have something a bit different where the princess is actually the one who saves the prince in this story. Yeah. Uh, we're trying to encourage self-confidence, self-love, pride of culture because uh, we want to do one book for each culture in South Africa. This one, of course, is the Kosa culture. And also curiosity about language, so there's some Kosa words in there as well. Yeah. It's not every day where, as a child growing up, I've never read of African fairy tales. It was always abroad ab fairy tales, Snow White. Yeah, Snow White. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's never about African. What is the imp why is it important to you as writers, as authors, to go back to our roots and write about African fairy tales? Yeah. So. Um, I think diversity is quite important. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm a reader, so I've grown up my whole life reading. And you want to hear those yeah, African yeah. stories. You want to see them. You want to see yourself on TV. You want to see yourself in stories. You want to see yourself in books. And I think that's very important. Yeah. And that's one of the things we're aiming for is diversity. Yeah. To make sure that every culture is represented and everyone can see themselves in a story. And I grew up uh, listening to Mamtun uh, Amshope with the Joko stories. Legendary. And that's also another thing, because like, um, I think as South Africans, we have such a wealth of stories that we want to share with the world. I that's love so the cover, yeah. guys. I'm so it's in love so with nice. this cover. Do you perhaps also think that the world is waiting, is, is looking to find out more about Africa, and perhaps storytelling is one of the ways to do that? Definitely. Yeah. Um, I feel like we, we are that sleeping giant, as mm. they say, as a continent, because you always read about Greek mythology or you read about um, Western mythology but African mythology is great and it's something we've never been writing down we've always been telling to each other but it's yeah. time to write the stories down and share them with the people oh, wow. yeah. and how difficult was the process of actually curating sort of like uh, uh, putting in languages that we actually speak and people understand into the story and sort of making it still a fairy tale Oh, yeah, no. for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been writing since primary school days, yeah. and I've never stopped. And some of the ideas I'm still trying to translate into stories now at mm -hmm. the moment. So for this one, Charles and I worked together, and of course he's from the Kota culture, yeah. so it was easier for him to help put in the words and to understand the culture better, make sure the images follow. Mm -hmm. We did a lot of research, even the characters' names were perfectly <laughs> and very... Yeah. Um, carefully selected yeah. and we took about two years to finish Whoa. the art for it. <laughs> yeah. It took yeah. a really long time. Yeah. We have Tristel over there who is an illustrator. For someone who doesn't know what is, an, what is an illustrator, what job teach you, what is what is mandated from you? What is expected from me as an illustrator? As an illustrator, well I have to draw everything. Yeah. <laughs> That's characters, designing the characters, designing the backgrounds and then picking the colors, making sure the composition is correct, and yeah, basically everything. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to just touch base quickly on, on the illustration element of, of things, and I was recently attended an international festival for animation. Oh yeah, and I, 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 I just want to know, like if someone's at home and they like to draw, they like to make pictures and stuff, is there a career in illustration? Can someone make money from drawing? Actually, yes, there's a very uh, big opportunity, especially now with, well, with the internet, yes. one thing. Um, I've noticed a lot of artists, they don't, they're mostly freelance, so they mm. get like contracts overseas yeah. or from just somebody that in the area that like them to draw a picture of their character or whatever. Yeah. So definitely there is a uh, career, but it's a lot of hard work because you have a lot of competition out there. Yeah. Yeah. That's the biggest thing, it's just, there's like a lot of competition, but every artist has their own voice and you'll find somebody that loves your voice yeah. and yeah. then you'll yeah. get Get going. Yeah. Which is amazing. I want to know there's there's a growth when it comes to African fairy tales. What do you guys expect people to take away from reading this one? Because when I read a fairy tale, I read it because I'm too stressed and I just wanna I just wanna <laughs> escape so reality <laughs> yes. and just read. Yeah. What can people take away from the blacksmith and the dragonfly? I think um, what I can say it's it's, it's 
everything that we it's 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 pretty much woke i would yeah. say oh, yes. because it's about girl power yeah. and it's about following your dreams uh, we have our prince for example he wants to be a fashion designer mm-hmm. and his father wants him to be a warrior and deliswa the blacksmith she wants to be a blacksmith and a warrior but her father wants her to be a housewife and we're saying those stereotypes you don't have to live up to them anymore. Yeah. you can do what you want you can be who you want to be yeah do yeah. what you want we don't have much time yeah. exactly. Exactly. <laughs> if someone wants to purchase this a book they want to buy it because i love the cover I it's love amazing it's amazing i just love the illustration you <laughs> did an amazing job where do we get you guys how do we find you well, we are on facebook and on twitter as well so on facebook if you just search for the blacksmith and the dragonfly you will find so many posts from us and then you'll find the group from there because the, the actual group name is really long yeah it is stories to inspire girls and boys from diverse cultures yeah. so it's better to just put in the title of the book and you can find us on twitter at kwasuka s yeah and if you want to send us an email it is stories for diverse cultures at gmail.com Quickly, Thank is there you. more coming up from you guys? Yeah, we're currently working on our second book, yes, representing the Zulu culture, and we're ah. hoping we can have it done by the end of the year. And are yes. you all other cultures? Yes. yes. African cultures? They're coming next, Cape yeah. Malay first. Soon, 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 ah. soon, soon. Yeah. 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 Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. And definitely you've opened our eyes, and I will be purchasing one of these. <laughs> look out in the Facebook pages to go purchase one of these. But for now, over the weekend, the Kickstars, the Metro Kickstars, yes, eh? yeah. yeah, so the kids this year had to do a business idea, and they made sneakers, and they had to decide who was the best, and Usnalo was there to let us know what went down. Let's check it out. What's up, Exonators? Today we're at Beacon Hill High with the Metropolitan Kickstars where learners actually designed their own sneakers and also learned some financial planning and savings and things like that as well. We're going to go inside, we're going to see exactly what it is about. And also, they're announcing the winners. So I can't wait to see that winning sneaker designed by our very own people. Come along, let's check this out. Enter a kickstart program as the other teachers children and learners, especially at grade 11, entrepreneurship, also financial literacy and financial wellness. And also it helps the children of working together as a team. They also learn to do teamwork, they also do to do um, designs, they are also there to, to work as groups and to make sure you know that they, all the all the uh, ideas come together as one idea and and to present it well. Well, we're obviously looking at, at schools that, that that needs our help and support, and we as as a company we also there to, to to bring our ideas to the grassroots level. You know to make sure that we that we can empower the schools and and also maybe make sure that we that we are part of the schools and the development of the schools. We need we know how the school need help and support. Money is always a problem at schools, and that's, that's why we as Metropolitan would like to assist in that. Maybe we can't maybe help the school entirely, but we are there to, to, to empower the schools and make sure that we can assist and maybe just keep, you know, make that hole a little bit smaller for them as, as well. Look, we, 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 we have a program that's over, over uh, the country, in Johannesburg, Durban, and, and Cape Town. Over, over, over the period now, over the last, since 2016, we've, we've done it. And, and in 2017, we also have this whole program to call out now in, in, in Cape Town. Yeah. And up to today, we have uh, there's over, over 10 schools that, that's, that's been benefiting from the Kickstart uh, program. Yeah. And we know that the Kickstart program will, will just improve and develop from strength to strength, you know? Yeah. Definitely because we can see the reception, we can see the excitement of the children, we can see how the enthusiasm is, yeah. and, and what do you, like, they can come up with. So obviously we, we know we're gonna, this program is going to grow from strength to strength with the, with the help of all the, the learners and the teachers and, and the management of the schools and Metropolitan as the backup partners also. This is our second year running with Metropolitan. So we, we started last year and we've we built on the relationship this year. Look, I think everything that we do here, we, we always receive our people with open arms. So we could see that it's a benefit for the children and for the community. And that's why we tried our best last year and we formed a good partnership so they came back this year. 
Metropolitan takes the kids through quite a few financial um, um, savvy um, 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 things. So they teach about the kids entrepreneurship, they teach them about budgeting, they teach them about what is bad debt, what is good debt, what is important in your life and how you can manage things. So that is what is important that they are doing and they are also teaching the kids how to be creative. Because a lot of our kids um, can become entrepreneurs, they've got to all the creativity but nobody gives them that opportunity. It also to, um, shows them how to form companies, right? So, and how to work in teams and that is a basic thing. And the main thing out of here is to show them how to do presentation skills. Okay, right about now I'm standing with the winners of the Kickstarts program and that is Speed Catch and I can definitely see myself wearing, you know, some of these to the XC program, you know, to Cape Town TV. I'm coming with Smith style and you know what I'm saying. Um, I want to know about the design. Tell us about the design. What was oh, the process? Oh man, oh man. The design is such a character, yes guys. Yeah. But anyway, we, you are back. You are still tuned in to your favorite news show. This is XA on Cape Town TV. The number to dial is 0 to 1 448 Social media, we're at XA underscore Cape Town TV. Listen, the hashtag for today is hashtag Monday Motivation and you have been keeping them tweets coming in, coming in and we appreciate that. And um, uh, we have right here from Uayanda Nontanta saying, Exe, Exe Kyalunjani, hashtag Monday Motivation. It's not about anybody but you. Do what's best for you and happy Monday. We also have Anthony Middleton uh, and Anthony says, if you've never reached the top, then there's probably one thing stopping you. Keeping yourself humble means you're able to identify exceptional people around you who are better models of what you might be one day. Have a positive and inspired Monday. Speaking of positive and inspiring things, we have two individuals in studio today to chat all things ma network marketing. Do you know what this is? Well, we'll find out right now. Definitely. What about now? The Yellow Couches are joined by the incredible Tembili Lemangaliso and of course the amazing Andy Lemchongwa. Oh, you guys. Guys, welcome on the show. Thank you very much. Thank First you very much. Thing, let's go to network marketing. What is it? What is it? Because it's, it's intriguing. Okay, so network marketing, I would uh, explain. It's as simple as you referring your friend to where you got that gorgeous top of yours. Oh. It's as hey, simple as that. <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's a trusted way of doing business. Yeah. So what you do is, it's a referral sort of um, setup. Yeah. So what you do is you refer your person to this is someone that you trust. This yeah. is your friend. This is your family. Mm -hmm. And you trust them to do business. Um, if they tell you that a certain product yeah. is uh, is valuable and you should invest in it, yeah. then that's just basically what network marketing is about. Yeah. It's about tapping into your network, your circle, a bank call, you know? Yeah. So you go yeah. into that circle and then you tell them, this is what we're doing. And then you use that to um, generate lucrative business. Mm. And you use that to sustain well. So then would that include sort of like going about um, uh, taking different businesses and putting them together and sort of like they can work together? Um, well, you can. Uh, you can use different businesses. Um, you can also, for example, there are people that are advocating for different um, network marketing, I mean, network marketing um, brands. So you, you choose whichever one works for you. Mm -hmm. And But just make sure, I, I always say this to people, there's a difference between network marketing and pyramid schemes. Mm -hmm. So people want yeah. to immediately see network marketing or, yeah. for example, a pyramid scheme will tell you, bring 5,000 rand today and in two days, time you you'll, you'll have like 10,000 yeah. I mean that's not really um, worth investing in because there's something dodgy about yeah. that how do they make their money if you're just generating this and how much how are they going to give you this 5,000 rand back yeah, in two from? days where is it coming from so um, when it comes to network marketing just make sure that you are dealing with trusted companies that are now going to be part of whatever it is that you are you are um, investing in yeah, yeah. Andy, I think you should just keep you know go a little bit back you guys for you guys to be sitting here it means you're pioneers mm. within the network marketing space how did they get into it uh, for me I uh, got to be introduced by my brother mm -hmm. uh, a very young guy not even well educated and introduced the concept to me a very educated person holding masters and being a lecturer in the University of Technology in Cape Town 
and and I even concept and I said, my brother, yeah. let me go and and deep into my what is this all about? Yeah. And it's a concept that does not need your education, yeah. a concept that doesn't need your qualification, a concept that doesn't need it was it is if I see the apple. All that you do, you just convert your network into network. The same yeah. people that Mubazi, Ugenzi Malingabo. Now all of a sudden, by doing what you've been doing to them, but no, I have a Nike shoe, the Tampa Nike, the Malaganga. Your friend was going to definitely go and buy. Yeah. But now send that the same thing, but you get paid for the friend ANZ in by your tenga product here come by you. Yeah. So now that's how I go to the business, my brother will introduce a you and I push the business, now it's pushing business. And now this is a passive income for Mna. Mm. I am able to pay petrol at the end of the month. Yeah. Yeah. Now I no longer say it about pay petrol. I'm sorry, I'm just for other things. Yeah. Petrol and, and some other expenses super from the network marketing business. Mm -hmm. And guys, like the, poverty is a, is a thing. Our economy is very shaky at the moment. Yes. How is net, yeah, well. yeah? How is network marketing solving issues of, of you know poverty and and mm -hmm. lack and, and unemployment? Um, I uh, I love the after being introduced into this this concept mm -hmm. um i it has transformed my life radically um i say this because i am initially when before we started talking yeah. we were talking about how i'm an, I'm an alumni of two, two universities <laughs> you know I'm, I'm an alumni for two universities i've i've uh, got three different qualifications mm -hmm. and I, w I went from one to another and to another hoping that formal education is going to transform my life and it's going to change the situation that I have at home. I've got a pile of black tax that is waiting for me. Mm -hmm. I've got responsibilities. Yeah. I'm a new mother. I'm a new professional. You're hopeful all the time that every time you get a qualification you're going to graduate and you're going to better your circumstances at home. You're going mm -hmm. to alleviate poverty. But then you, you get to finishing this and you are just waiting. You are applying, no jobs are coming in, oh, or you are you're working for 3.5 a month and your responsibilities are more than that. Mm. You're a graduate, the whole neighborhood is waiting for you. All of them, they want Everyone to is wondering, oh, you've got a student loan that you have to pay. You know? they don't understand and, and it. all these things, and, and, and it's so much pressure. So um, at the end of the year, Last year, I decided, you know what? Let me try something else. Um, I am always, I'm a, I'm a very business-minded person, mm. and I, I'm an environmental um, specialist. So I'm an environpreneur. I am oh, a, um, fancy. I <laughs> am an entrepreneur from a very young age. Yeah. I started uh, at a, fi a fishery, and I've always been this person who loves business. Mm. And so I decided, you know what? Let me try. It, Put your feet in all the boxes and all the and, and just try test out all the waters yeah. and make sure that there's something at the end of the day that's going to help sustain you and the work. Mm. Yeah. So I that's so then I decided. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then I decided. You know what? Let me try network marketing. And I did. And I was able to pay my rent. I was able to pay um, for my child. My baby goes to school. I'm currently not employed, and I'm sitting back and wondering: Do I want to go and, and use these right? formal qualifications yeah. for employment anymore? Because I am sustained. Yeah. yeah. Quickly, before we let you guys go, I want to pay my rent. How do how, I get in touch long? with you guys? <laughs> um, well, you can get in touch with me. I'm quickly going to give it to Andile right now. You can get in touch with me. I'm on Facebook. It's Tembeli Mangaliso. T E Tembeli Mangaliso on Facebook, and you can contact me. Zero 073-6381-465 and you can get me on WhatsApp as well as call me 69 Molweni, I hope you're writing a grand and irrelevant this Monday as it's cold in Cape Town. I hope that you're warm and you're fuzzed up in blankets and um, you are using the hashtag for today's hashtag Monday motivation across all social media platforms. We are at XA underscore Cape Town TV. The number to dial 021-448-0448. And I'll be reading some of your, your tweets that you've sent us through. Oh, I love this one. Oh, Uti, Le Uti, hashtag Monday motivation. Be yourself, believe in yourself, and remember, XA is the power. XA is the power. XA is the power. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> we also are having in studio two powerful men who are changing the landscape of entertainment, right? Bonza and um, Mapu. Mapu. Mapu are here in studio and we'll be chatting all things entertainment with them. Hi, guys. 
Everyone's favorite part of everything in their lives. Entertainment. Maputi, no problems. Doing entertainment, doing events must be lots and lots and lots and lots of hard work. Before we get into that, Kubano Pomza. Which one? Okay, Siabonga Mazu. Eh. Was a younger East. Yay! A car, a car. Yeah. From a car, yeah. Yeah. Um, started doing events in 2017. Yeah. And I was at 60 events. Yeah. Hmm. Maputi. Okay, yeah. Maputi, lo. Welcome to Eva. I'm going to be a long time. Um, currently I reside in Samora Michelle. Yeah. Uh, shout out to my hood man. Um, original I'm from Eastern Cape. Yeah. Um, it's off in Vaba, in a rural area called Kamat. Yeah, we're in Vaba. So we're in Vaba. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm a village guy. You know? yeah. yeah. How did it all begin? I know you are part of Parliament yeah. events. Yeah. How did that concept? How did that even that that name come mm. about? Um, so, um, for me, like personally, like. We always knew about the problems, right? Yeah. Yeah. And their work, and then they always knew about us, you know, the parliament entertainment. So I felt like it was about time, you know. Yeah, yeah. I think it's true connection. Yeah. Yeah. We felt like, yeah. no, it's about time. Let's do something that is totally different and also unique, you know. So that's how we came about to collaborate. So we did connect. Then we started talking about it, then we brainstormed some ideas, that's how it popped up, that's how the name popped up. Mm. Yeah. And for those that don't actually know Bombs Up um, sure. events, what kind of events do you guys do? Um, it's entertainment in the, um, events. Yeah. Okay. We, do. Um, we normally have artists mm. who are not known in um, Amikasi, and we're giving them a platform to perform and do what they love and what they're good at. Um, we also have uh, DJs, producers, um, what else? What else? Yeah. What else? Okay. Fashion designers. Fashion and designers. Yeah. Um, sorry. MCs. It's fun. It's fun. Actually, that's it. Actually. And you guys, I mean, I mean, uh, events are like such a very tricky thing, yes, yeah. guys. Yeah, um, yeah. It's difficult. Yeah. And Upam, you spoke about how in, in collaboration is important. Yeah. How? Why do you guys think, you know, as 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 young people, we should we should collaborate and make things work? Because Gunzim. Yeah, I felt like. Um, uh, um, I felt like um, this time around, like that's why I said we felt like we should do a collaboration, you know, mm. um, because we're trying to restore unity, you know, mm. especially up in Cape Town, you understand? We want to bridge that gap um, because we felt like up in Cape Town, e, for e industry, e entertainment, um, for promoters and also event organizers, they're not doing much, yeah. you understand? So that's why we felt like, no, let's unite, understand? Let's set example yeah. for other, for creatives yeah. and other performing artists, you understand? Because I felt like we need to unite, yeah. you understand? Mm. Because if we don't unite, like, do low, low. Exactly. Come on, so it's better game changers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. We've mentioned collaboration, you guys are collaborating, collaborating currently. Yeah, yeah. Um, you came up with brainstorm ideas, that's the ideas, and you are currently working on an event. My an event, in the guy, in the what can we expect? Um, it's happening at Samora Mitchell Stadium. It's on the 30th of, um, of March, sorry. Yeah. Um, you must expect nothing but the lead. Yeah. It's going to be dope. Yeah. It's going to be dope. Um, everything is planned out right now. Just waiting for a date and everyone to yeah. come out. Yeah. Yeah. Artists are also going to be open if it's a journey from the event. Yeah, just to add on the way to tell you, Linga. I mean, I felt like, um, just to elaborate more, I we felt like, Coming up with the name Link Up Festival, I mean, like the name itself, like let's explain. We are, mm. We're trying to connect the dots, you understand, connect the townships and yeah. like the Cape Town, you understand, to unite them. So, who's the Glombus and Buza, Yubana, the benefit and Jani local yeah. artists? That's why I said, like, we felt like um, local artists are underrated and overlooked, you mm. understand? So, for us, Link Up Festival, what makes it unique is that we're giving every young out there a chance to explore, you understand, mm. um, giving them a platform um, to perform, yeah. you understand, and showcase their talent. Mm. Um, just to add on more, Ilinga Festival, Ilinga Festival, why is it so unique, is that we're trying to also to create a hub, a business hub, because there's going to be vendors inside the venue oh, that they're going to sell, and also <laughs> the local designers, you understand, yeah. the clothing brands, yeah. 
yeah. there's gonna be pop-up stores yeah. you understand for them to to showcase their designing clothes and also to sell them yeah this hey is guys. so beautiful yeah. 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 Um, I think the other thing, Abandu, who also want to be part of events, like mm. who are selling clothes or stuff, or coach, yeah, they can contact us. Yeah. How can yeah. they contact you? Because Ben Caesar up. My Facebook name is Siabong Amaz. You yeah. can DM me or go to a page, from the events or parliament events. You can mm. contact them also. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it seems like Bomza, this event is, is, is more than just entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. It's also, you know, equipping society and yeah. building, you know, giving brands and talent a platform. Yeah. You you mentioned that one of your core, you know, motives for event company you know, is to increase the South African economy and to contribute to employment. Sure. How are you going about doing that? Open the Glunda House, you see. First of all, like we both passionate about um, mm. events, understand? Yeah. Um, for us, it's not about personal benefit of interest, mm. you know, because we're doing what we love. You understand? I feel I always feel like money should follow. Yeah, you understand? always. So that's why this time around we felt like we should give um, a small business entrepreneurs, you understand, a mm. chance for them to sell on our event. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That is amazing, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. It was an honor having you on the show. Sure. Good luck with the event. Hopefully, this is our end. Thank you guys so much. Yes. 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 Um, Romeo from Scandal. <laughs> 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 standing with Lungi who's actually the organizer and she's going to tell us a bit more about what we saw here today. Tell me Lungi, was this the outcome that you guys actually expected today? Yes it was. What we try and do is kind of mix like the, the creatives in one space basically because they do live together. So what I do is basically curate the spaces where I bring different elements which is within the creative industry into one space. Yeah. Tell me, will we see such events um, in other areas such as Delft and places like that? That's the plan. I do pop-ups. Like, it's like a traveling market. So I go everywhere and activate spaces yeah, to move around. Of course. And when the viewers at home, when they come to such markets, what is it that they can expect um, at the market besides you know, buying clothes and books and all of those things? Okay, viewers, when they come to the market, it's like authentic experience of an African authentic experience, basically. It's the culture, basically, what's happening right now, yeah. So they get to experience that. Of course. And tell me, how did this whole initiative actually start? Did you just wake up and you were like, ah, oh, let's start something like this? Actually, I wanted to do a Christmas market, but I wanted a Christmas market that spoke to us, that spoke to our culture. And then, in you know, I came about that. So that's how it all started. And what inspired, you know, the, the theme? you know because I saw a lot of African um, designs in clothes and that but where does the all the inspiration come from? The inspiration is actually identifying with who we are basically we want to go to spaces where we could relate to resonate so the idea is to go back to the roots go back to the indigenous things and that's what I'm about yeah tell us of some of the people you guys actually partnered with um, to make today's event actually happen 
Okay, who I partnered with was Oribi Village, which is the space that I'm currently using right now, and also the Black Filmmakers Film Festival. In terms of bringing something different into the experience of the space, also selective hearings where they bring like the music side of things, and then I also have artists, and I also have our workspace, which is based in Gualanga. It's a community, Gualanga, where artists come together and they make products. So those are the people I collaborated with for this. So I basically spent the whole day and I enjoyed everything the vibe, the music, the food, um, there was foaming and all of those things as well. But I want to know from you, what is it that when people come to, to your market, what is it that you want them to take away when they leave and actually ponder about, wow, that's actually something. <laughs> actually, I always think about it like more than a market. And then I think this one time I was telling a friend, you know that feeling when you go to church, that feeling that something just happened. <laughs> you can't explain it, but something just happened, you connect it. So that's what I want, actually. People to connect, basically, yeah. Thank you so, so much for chatting to us. Thanks. Hey, guys, we definitely came, we definitely saw, and we definitely conquered. Everything was good today. The music, the food, the fashion, the energy, the vibe, the people. Oh, I can go on and on and on about how everything was so, so amazing, man. We came, we saw, we conquered. Definitely, we're signing out, and I'm actually going to go downstairs and have a party with the rest of the guys. So yes, darlings, you're still tuned in to your favorite youth show. This is XA right here on Cape Town TV, channel 263. And uh, I am your host, Vuyo Tomoto, darlings. And I must say that today's show is absolutely fantastic. Before the, before the insert, we had the guys from the Link Up event. And I must remind you what is happening on the 30th of March at the Samora Marshall Stadium. Tickets are 80 Rand um, and VIP is 200 Rand. So go on Facebook um, at the Link Up and you'll see all the information all about it. Speaking of information, I'm going to be giving you more information about hashtag Monday Motivation. Guys, it's Yay! Yeah, <laughs> 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 Alright, so we have Uzex King um, and he says, remember that faith over fear, it's called to be kind, hard work pays off, count your blessings, you must believe to achieve. Good vibes create a good life. Hashtag Monday Motivation. And then Usamaritan says, just a little reminder that you can do it today. Hashtag Monday Motivation. And then the last one being from Ukolo Jesse saying Monday Monday doesn't have to be gloomy. Get yourself up and chase that paper. We are talking about paper, good vibes, everything, Monday, everything. But right now though, it's time for us to chat with the Queen. Usidewu, Uma Uma or not. And then Papa Man, she's our poet for today. <laughs> Okay. M Veni Kobas Lukunyas of Kakul, twenty seventeen. Be your own and be being well and Yaka Then the common in Tati pen a paper because all three pen if you also express our feelings, right? Then a three pen a paper and a man's a man, it too much lent by inside. And the Paralum Bong did to go and bango tata in Billy by inside. But I can go by yak because by a scrap has. Then I was on don't see so tell away to him. Just because oh, conje, I will say, yeah, but Gabba made it, he called a lander, it's he, Nina made by a by a succession. Ne, then sneaking up, baby, so returned with him. Come back, baby, 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 ba
Okay. All the time, if I'm done with him, 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 if I'm done with Mamia Mapiku. Oh, yes. Halala. Pie, Sebatana, cultural projectors. Gulam Shabas, the cry from Dane. Yes. Yo. They own Funa, okay. Number Zam. With everything you do, thank you so much. Who's about excited to embrace us with your beautiful um poetry? Thank you so much. Rev Kozu Papa, my AK, my me, I'm funny for Facebook. Book her, get her jobs as a Gonzali Mali. But right now, quick breather, we'll do more to come. Up away, excess. Sweetie, <laughs> from catching a breather. Of course, with Phil Pansy, this is Papa Ma, and of course, she's going to be closing off the show for us. Otherwise, guys, in Monday from here onwards, see ya. Pinam plunge because it's a Monday. Academics are calling. Where are you guys going? I'm okay. going home to sleep. Mm -hmm. Azo S A Kesana. Azo Zitting. Yeah. Who's it? We are doing a dance and plunge after this. Oh, the Yakari is all. Your pin that yeah. let me bongo. You want to change? Yeah. Some more, some more. My said about Uyimbongi, um, we are actors as well, right? Yes. My said how important it is for you as an artist to be to, to, to diversify, diversify yourself. Who is this? Okay. Kaloku itilendo. Ukuzo kule. Fine kwa mbwa na ukuzo sangezi na yabo. And then ukuzo puki shwe. Then Then the poem is about It's about Ubana, Mabayek, and Guys, there you have it. Excel in a natural, amazing show. It was from Namaskalo J. And I am virtual the darlings. Cue the black rose out here. Yeah. But of course, if you want to have uh, contact with the guests that we spoke with on the show today, go on, of course, on our XA page and get their social media handles and you'll find all of their information on there. Go on, Diego. Yes, repeat tomorrow, 7 a.m. till 8 a.m. This is happening 4 p.m. till 5 p.m. this entire week. Mama, no, you you. Mama, you. Alta ego. We'll see you tomorrow. Useli pinganje, useza kubali kop. Kani niki tuba mawetu. Nditana nindibole keni njebezi nyeza kuwetu. Maki andi kaulezi andi palazi lembilini. Lezi nindi ipele nikatayi. Bendi saa tuma uti ndi siti. Useli pinganje, useza kubali kop. Isono selo mduwana kukubai ndo mazana. Kwa isono saa kesi mbula lisi. Isono saa kesi mchabala sita mshenga na temali imbiye bumini. Ebe mshe umdua na wabado ni mshilinda.
Oko kuzul pume kasin. Emili le eno tando. E indenzo iselege izleke unum. Ustazu wae ebu umbi. Mina zani tile sa peli sti masagi. Ba peli ubu sheba ke ngenze zikwen. La li sheba umshaba ilanga lomin. Ya ikandi ya iku chabala la kubumbagi. Zafiki nko itelo za kuzo tiza isa kiwa nete manama pupo agi. Ebe ngutata kuyi. Ebe ngutata osurge mungano buzi nga matamsa angani mpumelelu ebo min. Nje ngunu mi vishakuli nsi imi kumi kumi tisa sisu. Kupaka logu nete manufu manufu zi nkiamu yagi. Nje nge nkiamu iki matkabatu bile. Ebe yi ngasu minu ngamu nangu tatata. Kota kwa nse kilu ba. Ibe nguyi iso mungamu walu ngasu. Wabu tata wabu nte ombe nte ombe yake inga ndilangu. Wabu kuba lo mpo ulata mbaka logu mbona utabi. Sa choka lu sisi skalu saki. Au sa sisi kwa na inimba na tata. Ama kami mbiza ngolo mshalem tsa 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 misha na malang. Simbone seka nchi mbuna paka nga paka zinye mbizu skope masulin. Sisi loo ndezi manu kutunu kala zunku mbulo zikotu mbundo mbake mwisa. Isono salo mduwana kukuba indo masana. Isono saake simbula lisili. Isono saake simbula chabala sita mshenge na temali imbi ebo min. Use li pinga nchi. Use za kubali top. Bye, guys. Mm.